Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams, and today we're going to find the area under a normal curve using Minitab. And in this particular video, we're going to solve for the probability that x is less than a given value on the curve. So to um, demonstrate this, we're going to look at Mike and a desk. So suppose that we know that it takes, on average, 48 minutes to assemble a desk from Ikea. That's going to be the mean. The standard deviation of the time is 12 minutes, and the times are normally distributed, meaning we can use that normal curve. What's the probability that Mike can assemble this desk in less than 20 minutes? So before we go any further, this is just a reminder, or maybe it's new information. In a continuous distribution, the probability that x is exactly equal to some value is always zero. And this is because the area under a continuous distribution curve at a single point has no width. Because it has no width, the probability is zero. So for example, the probability that a man weighs exactly 190 pounds to this infinite precision is zero. So I cannot solve for the probability that X equals 190 pounds. Instead, I could calculate the probability that he weighs more than 190 pounds or less than 190 pounds. I could even construct an interval and find out what's the probability that he weighs between 180.9 and 190.1 but the probability that he weighs exactly 190 is always going to be zero. And this is very important for your understanding of how the cumulative distribution function in Minitab operates. So I've sketched out our problem, and I've put it on a normal curve, and we were told that the mean or the average time it takes to assemble these desks is 48 minutes, and we want the probability of Mike assembling this desk in less than 20 minutes. So I find 20 on the curve, and now what I know is the probability of less than 20 is gonna be that small section of the tail. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Minitab and the cumulative distribution function to find the probability that X is less than or equal to 20. So given what I just talked about, what Minitab is really going to do is it's going to find the probability that X is exactly equal to 20. And from what we just learned, we know that probability is going to be zero. Then Minitab is going to find the probability that X is less than 20. And we know that that's going to be a non-zero probability. We just don't know what it is yet. And then what's going to happen is in the background, Minitab is going to add these two together to come up with the probability that X is less than or equal to 20, which we know will be this non-zero probability plus this zero probability. So it's going to be the zero probability plus the non-zero probability will give us our answer. So here I am over a mini tab, and all I've done is opened up a new session. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to use this calc function. That's where my distrib my distributions reside. So I'm going to calc I'm going to click on calc, and I'm going to come down here to probability distribution, and I'm coming over here to normal and it's going to give me a dialog box because I want the probability of less than 20 I know that I need this cumulative probability and we were given that the mean was 48 minutes we knew that the standard deviation was 12 and if you recall on my curve I wanted the problem, I had located X equal to 20, and so I want the probability of less than 20. So I'm gonna type in my input constant of 20, and now I'm gonna say okay. 
And so Minitab is going to think for a minute, and it's going to tell me that with the mean of 48 and a standard deviation of 12, the probability that X is less than 20 is 0 0.0098. So you'll recall that we looked at that idea of what Minitab solves for us, is that probability is less than or equal to. And so what it really solved was the probability that X is equal to 20 was zero. The probability that X is less than 20 is equal to this 0 0.0098 and probably four decimal places is enough, right? And so when it added those up together, that's how I got my non-zero probability, 0 0.0098. Generally, probabilities are expressed as a percentage. So I'm going to move my decimal place two places to the right, and I'm going to end up with 0.98%, which tells me it's highly unlikely that Mike's going to get this desk built in less than 20 minutes. We'll do some others on Minitab, but that's enough for now.